Memphis here again, uh, coming out of Memphis, Tennessee. I uh, wanted to bring you on another renovation that I'm just starting. As you can see, this house behind me, uh, this is a four bedroom, two bathroom home. It's right around 1,400 square feet or so. Uh, this is actually in a neighborhood here in Memphis called Colonial Acres. It's a, it's a pretty desirable neighborhood. Uh, strictly for the fact of being a four bedroom, two bathroom in this particular neighborhood uh, gives it a lot of rentability. It's gonna be desirable. Uh, this is the second time I've been in this house. Uh, first time was about two weeks two weeks ago when I saw it, and it was pretty filthy, as you're going to see here soon. Um, we're just getting started. Uh, I got my contractor Fernando here. Uh, we're going to do a little walkthrough, and I thought I'd bring you all with me so that you can kind of get an idea of what this place looks like now and what it's going to look like here in about three to four weeks. So, let's go inside. Uh, you know, I actually uh, I'm calling this house uh, "Welcome to the Jungle," for lack of better terms. So let's go check it out. So. As you can see, you know, before we get inside the house, uh, we're gonna have to do some landscaping. We're painting the exterior of the house. I've got I've got standard colors I like to use. We're gonna put on a brand new 30-year shingled roof. Uh, there's a lot of trash out and clean out here. You can see the. I bought this house from homeowners. Uh, this house was purchased from some homeowners. They needed to get out. The house is just in huge disrepair. As you can see, we've got a bunch of garbage on the curb right here. Uh, they left a lot of junk for me. Actually, they left a lot of junk for Fernando and his crew under the carport here. Uh, and it's actually even worse inside. Now, you guys don't have to put on a gas mask, but I wish we had one. So here we are in the main living room of the home. The nice thing about homes like this is they have a lot of natural hardwood floors. So one of the things they're going to do in this house is they're going to sand and refinish, restain, polyurethane, all the hardwood floors, uh, paint, sheetrock repairs, uh, this house is actually getting a full renovation. There is so much work that needs to be done here. I think, what'd you say, Fernando? We're close. We're pushing 30000 plus on this renovation. But uh, you can tell that they got out of here in a hurry. Um, so this is the main living area. Uh, this, is a, this was kind of a small eat-in dining room. And this is where it starts to get nasty. Uh, like I said, it, it, it stinks. For you watching, you, you cannot smell how awful this is. Right, Fernando? Yeah. Woo! Uh, here in the kitchen, looks like they had some pizza before they left. Uh, we are going to rip everything out. This is going to be all new cabinets, countertops, dishwasher. We're doing all light fixtures, mini blinds in this house, um, sink, faucet, everything. But uh, it, there's a nice floor plan here because uh, the kitchen's central into the house opens up to this back living area where we've got some more uh clothes i don't i don't think uh, goodwill is going to want any of this stuff but uh you know got a nice little fireplace right here in the corner uh you know it's kind of a bonus for this house having a second uh living room here uh through <laughs> through the back living room here we actually have a laundry facility area here with some storage this is actually a uh, we don't really see that too much in houses in this particular neighborhood. So a lot, a lot of times in this, in this area of town, uh, laundry is usually in the kitchen. So the fact that this has actually got its own separate area is a huge plus. Uh, making our way back through here, boy, uh, this, is a, this is a bonus room. Could be used as a fourth bedroom because it does have window, it does have closet, but as you can see, this is, this is how distressed this house has been. And it is pretty rough. And we've got creepy dolls all over this place. Uh, this obviously was an addition at one point in time, but uh, this place is gonna look wonderful here in a couple short weeks. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go down the hallway to the bedrooms and bathrooms area. Boy, I just can't get rid of that cat smell. You know, it's, you know, like I said, we're pushing 30,000 plus on this one. We're gonna do a complete kitchen in here. We're looking at close to 4,000 plus just in the kitchen alone. Oh my gosh, there's a Fraggle Rock lunchbox. All right, now, <laughs> now one thing you're not gonna, you're not gonna notice in the video here, but uh, there's several floor joists under the home that need to be repaired. There's a, there's a natural slant that goes towards the center of the house. You can't really see it, but it goes down this way. Um, but you know we have bedroom one, or you could say bedroom two, because that back bedroom. Here in the here in the bathroom, you can really kind of get an idea of how bad the slant is. If you look at the tub down there, uh, you can see that the drop is somewhere around three to four inches. 
when it gets a little worse in the back part towards the tub, but in this bathroom, it's gonna be completely gutted. We're ripping everything out. And we can come back in with everything new. Now, oddly enough, this furnace actually looks like it's in pretty good condition. It needs to be cleaned up, but I still don't know the age of it yet. Uh, if it's older than 15 years, I'm gonna replace it, but uh, if it's functional and newer than that, we'll keep it. So, I don't even really know what to say was going on in this bedroom. It doesn't look like anybody was living in here except for maybe the cats, but it's rough. It's rough, but these are the houses that people like to see redone. Uh, this is bedroom number three. We're going to enter into the master suite down here. Hmm. So this can be considered the master bedroom because it does have the full uh, master bath. It's kind of a smaller bathroom, but nevertheless, it is a full bathroom. Uh, it reeks in here so bad, we're going to go in the backyard. How's that? We're gonna have to do a lot of exterior uh, repairs, replace a lot of this wood here. It's just, it's in such bad condition. This whole area is gonna get cleaned up. Lots of rims and tires. So we come into the backyard. There's a little storage shed, no big deal. Entrance that goes into that back living room but as you can see we have a lot of a lot of stuff here and <laughs> it's kind of like i said welcome to the jungle because it is a absolute mess back here there's so much junk here now this is actually kind of odd we actually have some eggs in here i don't really know why they're in there but awesome yeah right but uh everything's gonna get cleaned up back here we're gonna eliminate all of this Depending on how bad the shed is, we're probably just going to get rid of that too. But the, the yard actually goes back uh, a decent bit, but you would not know that because of how much uh, bamboo overgrowth there is. Uh, coming back over here, you know, you see we got some uh, soffit fascia trim that's going to get repaired. We got to get these trees down because they are touching the house. And this is all going to get cleaned out. So uh, bringing you along to see this, uh, this is the initial. The renovation is actually starting tomorrow. Dumpsters are coming. The crew's here. They're going to start the roof, get this place cleaned up. Uh, I'll probably have everyone come back in about a week, week and a half uh, to kind of see mid-progress on this. So uh, until then, I'll see you soon. Hey everybody, Kurt Davis here again. So I wanted to do another quick video here at the project on Tahiti. It's kind of the one that we called uh, Welcome to the Jungle. Uh, we've only been renovating it for about a week now. And there was so much garbage, as you recall in the last video, that uh, we're really trying to, we're still kind of trying to get it cleared out. But I thought I'd bring you back just to kind of show you some of the few things that we've done. Now it's funny because, uh, you know, I haven't owned this house for a long time, but I got a letter in the mail the other day from the Shelby County Health Department uh, basically telling me that I got to clear all the junk out that was in the front yard, as you call all the tires, all the trash. I have to clear that, otherwise they're going to come and do it for me, and I'll get the luxury of paying for it. So uh, they'll have all of this stuff here in the dumpster. The, this is actually our third dumpster of garbage. I might need a fourth. I hope not, but uh, let's go take a look inside real quick because I just want to show you how different it looks since we've got a lot of the garbage out. Funny thing is, is the smell hasn't gone away as much as we'd hoped, but it's not too bad. So, so like I said, the contractors are getting ready to start doing prep work in here. Um, one of the big things I wanted to show you was the kitchen. You know, we've trashed out all the cabinets, countertops, old dishwasher, everything. Really trying to get this area cleaned out. Um, this backbone, you know, there was a lot of clothes, a lot of containers here just full of junk. Um, and this back bedroom here, which is the fourth uh, bonus room, as you recall, we had, uh, we had to put up some new insulation and sheetrock, really get this area cleaned up because they did put the brand new roof on the house. So uh, we've got the new roof on, usually projects like this. I wish they'd go faster, but they don't.
really just kind of, you know, look at some of these bedrooms. It's, it's cleaned out now. We can actually see the floor. All the past garbage is gone. This room uh, was one of the worst ones here. When they, do, when they start sanding these floors, uh, they're going to need a little extra help here. So uh, they, they will sand out, but this, this is rough in here. Um, let's go in the backyard real quick because I want to show you. If you recall, the backyard was really a... Uh, the backyard was basically a bamboo jungle. So let's go check it out. So if you remember last time when we were here, there was an old shed. This whole backyard was completely full of bamboo. Uh, you, you couldn't see any of this. You couldn't even see any of these back neighbors here. Uh, but they've cleaned it all out. Now, obviously, there's still detail cleaning that we'll, we'll have done by the time we're, we're complete with this project. But uh, clearing this out was a massive undertaking. There's still a lot left to go. But I just wanted to get you down here so you could see the progress that we've made in trashing this place out to really kind of get the house prepped so that we can start the actual renovations on the inside. So uh, we'll probably check in in another week to two weeks because this is a, about a four-week project. So I'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, hey everybody, Kurt Davis here again. Now this is the third uh, segment of this video for this house here that we are calling Welcome to the Jungle. Well, it's not really looking like a jungle anymore. Um, I wanted to bring you in here because um, a lot of things have happened since you guys have been here last. Now, as you can tell, we've got the walls have been painted. Uh, actually right outside we have the flooring crew who's gonna come in and they are gonna sand and refinish all this natural hardwood floor throughout the house. Uh, there is a portion of the house that We'll have vinyl planks, but there'll be no carpet in here. Uh, if you come over here, check this out. You can see that we've got the new cabinets installed and these were all brand new. Uh, new kitchen countertops, new dishwasher, new vent hood. We've got the light fixtures in. Um, this floor in here in the kitchen will get installed when it's completely done. Uh, this is gonna be the vinyl plank area over here. So things are really starting to come together. If you come over here, um, this fireplace, we painted this brick just to kind of offset it. Uh, it's an accent piece. It looks really nice. Um, obviously, it doesn't look nice uh, with this old floor in here, but uh, we're really redoing this, getting this going here. So I'm going to take you and show you the bathrooms. Uh, we're almost complete here. All right, so in this bathroom, as you can see, this was a complete redoing here if you if you recall the the flooring was sagging in here because there were some broken joist beams under the floor so since that's all been fixed uh, we've got the new tile brand new tub tile surround everything here is brand new light mirror vanity toilet uh, everything there's still some detail work that needs to be done but for the most part very simple standard clean we're going to look at the master master bathroom Now obviously the vanities right here hasn't come in yet, but uh, now this bathroom has a stand-up shower. Same type of style design. Obviously the tile on the bottom is a little bit different, but um, right here the light was just a little bit too low, so we had to raise that up. We're gonna patch this and get it taken care of, get this finished out, but uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to bring you guys back for the last video here. Maybe in the next seven to 10 days, we'll have it completely done. You'll get to see what the outside done with the landscaping, uh, completely redone floors. I'm excited to bring you back. So I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. All right, everybody, Kurt Davis here. We are at the final stages of our, what I called Welcome to the Jungle project. This four bedroom, two bathroom home down here in the Colonial Lakers neighborhood. Uh, it's taken us probably close to 40, 45 days to complete this project from start to finish. Uh, I've spent close to $37,000 on the renovation. Uh, new roof, HVAC, hot water tank, flooring, exterior, interior, uh, bathroom upgrades, total gut job, uh, completely new kitchen, all new cabinets, countertops, so much more. Uh, as you can see, we just finished the landscaping out here. All the paint on the exterior is completed, the roof. Uh, let's go in and see what this project looked like because as you recall, it was in poor condition uh, when I purchased this property. I actually couldn't believe people were living in here up until the point when they moved out and we closed. So uh, I really think you're gonna be surprised, pleasantly surprised on how nice this project turned out. So let's go. So here we are, we're in the main living room. 
Uh, as you can tell, the floors have been sanded and restained, and they look absolutely perfect. Uh, this is our standard paint color we use on the walls with the trim. Uh, over here in the kitchen in this back half of the, the property, we had to go a, a different direction with the floor, and I put in my vinyl planks because this part of the house did not have the natural hardwood floors. So this whole home has no carpet in it, uh, which is, which is a, a great plus for investors. But here in the main living room, we're actually gonna go down the hallway. I wanna show you the hallway bathroom first. So here in the hallway bathroom, as you recall, uh, the subfloor here was sinking. And one of the things we had to do to the home was we had to rebuild up the subfloor, put new joists under the home, uh, lift it back up. But this is, everything in here is new. New tile, tub, the surround, the fixtures, vanity, mirror light, everything is new. Very simple, very clean, uh, completely renovated in here. Uh, we're gonna go check out bedroom number two, actually. Uh, this bedroom here was in such poor condition. Uh, I don't know if you recall, you might see it on the video, that the floors in here were almost completely black. I actually wasn't sure if the, if the flooring company was gonna be able to sand this well enough, but these turned out absolutely perfect. Uh, this is bedroom number two of a four bedroom home. Uh, we're gonna go into the master bedroom here. So this part of the property, bedroom number three, master, nothing exciting but the master bathroom ensuite here. It's kind of a smaller bathroom, so in order to accommodate, I'll stand in the shower here, but uh, all new stand up, shower, surround, pan, tile, everything. Vanity, toilet, mirror, light, Everything is new in here. So uh, we are gonna make our way to the kitchen. Uh, we did a complete gut job in there as well. All new cabinets, countertops, sink, everything. If you recall what this home looked like in the kitchen, it was a complete mess. We ripped all the cabinets out, came back with new cabinets, new dishwasher. Uh, we got the lights, new upper cabinets, Venna hood. Everything is brand new in here. So uh, this was, this was just something that needed to be done. Normally we're not having to do this extent in the kitchen, but uh, the cabinets were in such poor shape we had to do it. Uh, kind of to the, the addition part of the home over here, this is a, a bonus living room here. You know, we've got the fireplace, the mantle. Uh, it's got access to the backyard right here. Uh, it's just another great living area, but uh, what's nice about this property is uh, we've got the laundry area. Now, one thing you need to understand is a lot of houses in Colonial Acres Typically, the laundry areas are set up in the kitchen. Uh, makes kitchens a lot more tight. But this uh, project, actually, we have the, there's actually a designated laundry area right here off the living room. So uh, washer, dryer, hookups right here. Uh, storage area over here. This is a huge feature, like I said. Uh, it takes the washer and dryer out of the kitchen, puts it in its own space. Uh, right back here, we've got the fourth bedroom. Uh, this place, as you recall, we had sheetrock falling down, insulation, uh, there were creepy dolls all over the place. It was a complete mess in here, but uh, new sheetrock, subfloor, flooring, closet doors, everything. So, uh, I mean, we have completely transformed this property. Uh, this four bedroom, two bathroom home, right around 1,650 square feet. We're projecting the rent range on this is gonna be in the 975 to 995 range. So uh, excellent property to add to the portfolio. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this video and the others that we do. Uh, it's just really nice to bring uh, you along so that you can see what really goes into these properties. Rather than just seeing before and after photos, you're really getting to see the whole scope of what really goes into this property and the transformation from start to finish. So uh, again, I hope you enjoyed. Until the next one, we'll see you soon.